bright. I always choose to sit in front of this big window and then I always complain about how bright it is. Get it together, Jamie, come on. Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm here today to do my August Beauty Box 5 unboxing slash review. For anybody who's not familiar, I typically review these boxes and bags. So I do Ipsy Beauty Box 5 and Luxe boxes as well. I always test out and try every product that I get into the box before I do these videos so I can give you a full review on what I think of the products, how they work for me, if I think the box this month was worth it, and then I also compare the two boxes. So, the August 2014 boxes theme is Radiant and Remarkable. I don't really know what kind of theme that is, but that's what it is. This is what the Beauty Box 5 here looks like. This is a monthly beauty subscription box, and it's around $10 to $15 depending on where you live, and um, I have a hair in my mouth. Mm. And you get between four to five products in the box. Some are sample size, some are full size. So without further ado, let's just get into what I got in my box. What I got in my box this month for August. So the first thing that I received this month is a sunscreen and this is the Pure Lease SPF 30 sunscreen. So this is the sample size right here and it's a decent sample size, something that's good to throw in your purse, throw in your beach bag if you need a sunscreen for your face. I've actually already received one of these in an Ipsy bag a few months ago, so I didn't actually open this one because I, d I thought it'd be silly to open up another one. So I've already tried this. It's a great sunscreen. Like I said, easy to throw in a purse or something in case you're on the go and it gets sunny and you need to protect your face. Yeah, I don't know, it's a good sunscreen, but if you haven't seen any of my previous unboxing videos for these types of boxes, I have received so many of these little sunscreens over the summer in these boxes that I just, I'm, I'm all sunscreened out, so this is just annoying. I already have this exact same one, so it's a good product, but I'm a little disappointed that I got yet another sunscreen. What you gonna do? Next product I have is actually wet because I just used it. And this is the Novex, oh God, Brazilian Keratin Professional Food Therapy. This has so many names on the package. Hmm. Anyways, it is a foil package and it is a hair food mask. So you can actually use this in a couple of different ways. You can just put it on your hair in the shower and leave it for 25 minutes or you can put it in your hair in the shower, put on a shower cap, leave it like that so it soaks in, or you can use this as a everyday conditioner if you would like, which I used it just as an everyday conditioner today. Um, I just didn't have the time to do the mask, so I'll have to do that another day. But overall, I mean, my hair does feel really soft today. It actually feels softer than when I use some of my regular conditioners, so definitely not a bad product. Curious to see how it works as a mask but yeah it definitely does feel really soft today and it's a really good size sample for a foil packet i have issues with foil packets as a lot of people do i'm sure they're usually just so little and stupid but this actually i'll be able to use this quite a bit it's an okay product i i'm gonna use it it works well so i have no complaints next up i have la fresh travel light oil free makeup remover wipe so this is like a travel size i do like getting these types of makeup wipe travel sizes for when i do go away like for a weekend it's just nice to not have to bring my big honk and pack of them but this one I used last night to take my makeup off and it really, I use waterproof mascara because I have really watery eyes and this honestly did nothing for my mascara, like nothing at all. It took off my face makeup fine, but my eye makeup, not at all. And the other issue that I have with this is it smells weird. Like, it smells like mustard and I hate mustard and it makes me want to die. That's like I'm not even sure if I'm going to continue to use these I might even just throw them out or give them away to somebody else but the smell makes me want to throw up because I just hate that mustard smell why do they smell like mustard Ugh. hate it I hate it I hate it huh <sighs> I hate it so I'm not gonna use this but Next thing I got is a full size product and this is a lip gloss by Nana Coco and it is in the shade Mysterious. Ooh. I am wearing this on my lips today as you can see. Jeff's home. So I'm wearing this on my lips today. It is a really nice pinky color. This is the shade. Oh my god, stop! This is the shade here. It's kind of a blue tone pink 
and it's nice. The color is really, really nice. It is very thick and tacky, so if you don't like thick and tacky types of lip glosses, you're probably not going to like this one. I'm almost done. Sometimes I like it when they are a bit thicker. That means that they're going to last longer, and yeah, I don't know. I'm going to use it, and I like it, and it's a big full-size product, and this retails for $3.99, in case you're wondering. I'm almost done, and you're like... Making noises and honking and stuff. Let's just do it. I'm allowed to do what I want. There's... You're not the boss of me. Whatever. Okay, so the last thing that I got in my bag was a nail polish, and this is from Style Essentials, and it is in the shade... I don't know what shade this is. I don't even know if it has one. Well, where's the fun in that? It's just a silver nail polish. It's a pretty silver. It is this color right here, as you can see on the nail wheel. So just your typical silver. I haven't actually worn it on the nails, so I don't know what the formula is like. But, I mean, it's nice. I'll probably wear it in the winter time. Nothing really special, just a silver polish with no name. But this nail polish retails for $7, and I've never heard of this brand before. So this is my first nail polish from them. So hopefully it's nice. So that is actually all that I got inside of my box for this month. LOL. Oh god. That's all I actually got inside my Beauty Box 5 this month, and overall, I'm not overly impressed with this month's box just because the makeup wipes smell disgusting. The nail polish is nice, you know, I like it. The lip gloss is nice, I like it. The foil packet's okay, and the sunscreen is something that I already have like a thousand of. So overall, I probably rated about a 2.5 to a 3, which is pretty low. Usually I rate these boxes at least 3.5s, 4s and sometimes even fives. So if I had to choose this month between my Ipsy Glam Bag and my Beauty Box 5, I would definitely pick the Ipsy. This month my Ipsy Bag was a five. I will make sure to link my review and unboxing for my Ipsy Bag on the screen and somewhere down below, so definitely go check it out. Both subscriptions are a ton of fun. I love, love getting them. Some months you're going to be really disappointed. Some months it's going to be really awesome, so you never know. It's really exciting. Let me know down below if you also subscribe to Beauty Box 5 and what you got in your box, if you got anything different from me or what you liked about your box, what you didn't like about it. I would love to know and that's all that I have for you guys today so thank you so much for watching. If you like what you see, please subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye! And then he was saying, he's like, well, let's take UNB for example. He's like, tuition's around $8,000. He's like, but for each student, UNB has to pay about $14,000. And I was just like, bullshit. Because, I'm like, that's because they decided to pay their professors astronomical salaries. Yeah. Like, that is the reason why it costs so much to have a student attend your college. Yeah. Like, no, it does not cost $14,000. If it costs so, an extra seven grand per student, they would be bankrupt. They wouldn't be able to, yeah. they wouldn't be able to And that's, it. and he's like, well, so I asked, like, where does that extra money come from? And he's like, well, that comes from you. So it comes from us and all this stuff. And I'm just like, it might have a meaning, okay. He Anyways. Just, he's a politician. Yes, and so I just didn't want to talk to him anymore, so he's like, well, can we count on your vote? And so I was just like, sure. And he's like, oh, fantastic. And I'm just like, huh? Because it, it doesn't matter. Yeah. Like, what I wanted to say is it doesn't matter which one of you shows up at my door, you're all going to say the exact same thing, and no matter what, I'm going to have the same issues, and you're all going to say the same thing. Well, the problem, so, yeah, I mean, whether it be PC or liberal, like, they'll come in and say the same things. And nothing and when they will get happen. In office, they won't do anything. Yeah. It's the same. Like what I wanted it's to same say. Same it's been since eighteen sixty seven. I know. I just wanted to be like, instead of wasting all of this time competing against each other and talking shit about each other, I'm like, why don't you all just work together and actually solve some problems? You should have said that. I should have, but I'm too nice. And he, like, he was a nice guy, and I didn't want to be rude, so I was just like, okay. Mm. Anyways. That's right now. Thank you very much.